Here's our example. It's a Kohler 1.6 gallon flush toilet. Could be most toilets today that are water savers. Now you look inside the tank and you see what you see in most toilets. You see the, uh, the fill valve over here, which uh, there's about three or four different kinds that you'll find in the toilet. This one happens to be a fluid master. And down there is the flapper valve, which uh, lets uh, a, a maximum volume of water go into the toilet in one big burst so it flushes. And then some of the water at the same time comes from the fill valve through this uh, dark tube here and goes over to the standpipe or overflow. And where does that water end up? It ends up coming out the uh, rim jets, as they're called, of the toilet. Now, if we take a dentist mirror like this, we can see, we can see those, see, there's one of them right there, one of the jets. See that? And they're all around the entire rim, see? If your toilet's flush has become sluggish or impeded and uh, it's getting to be a real pain in the neck and it could be around well water with lots of mineral deposits, which clogs up uh, shower heads, clogs up the faucet head in the kitchen, uh, does that. It just tends to do that. So what you do is you heat up some white vinegar, about 10 or 12 ounces of it, and then you bring that 120 degree vinegar over here with a funnel and you pour it down the overflow pipe, okay? And you just let that vinegar, that warm vinegar, sit in there for an hour to an hour and a half. Naturally, it will be sitting on top of on top of the rim jets. And then after the vinegar has done its work to, to loosen and soften the mineral deposits in, your, uh, in the jets, you take a 3 seconds Allen wrench, you see, and you go up in there like this. Because it's L-shaped, it's a very good tool for doing this. And you work it around, work it around gently, and you clean out all of the uh, crust of the um, calcification. 